Good morning, Scarlet. So what's the day today then? Oh, it's a Monday. Wallet, earpods, can't forget the keys. Hi everyone, Big Paulie back for a brand new video. Yes, it is Monday, it is new release day. I'm already at my uh, destination for today. That's right, it is the place that has water that's a kind of a aquary greeny shade of blue. <laughs> In other words, we're at blue water. Fabulous, yes. Uh, I don't think this is going to be as warm today. There's a bit of sun, a bit of cloud, but more or less it's about 12 centigrade. What's your name? Michael Fish? <laughs> There's no bloody hurricane coming, I'm telling you that. Anyway, what are we going to do today? We are going into Blue Water. We are going to go to HMV. Oh, lovely HMV. And we're going to go and have a look at the Amazon store. Amazon store? Yes, the Amazon store. Apparently, it's the only Amazon store in the UK. So we'll go and check that out. Might pop in pen, pen, pen kind, men kind if we get time. But apparently, there's also the Calendar Club has a shop here. Burp. So <laughs> fizz always makes you burp. So we're going to go and have a look in the Calendar Shop, the Calendar Club, uh, because. Um, at Maidstone, they only had a few set up, so hopefully here we'll get a lot more, uh, a lot more calendars. Uh, unfortunately, the one store that we would have gone in while we're here is no longer here. It's the Disney store. It's gone. <laughs> it's gone. What are we gonna do? Uh, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I don't think anything has gone in the Disney store just yet. So it's probably all boarded up and the signs come down. That's going to be a sad sign. I'm going to have to play some very sad music over that, I'm afraid. Okay, let's get on to what we've got out today. I have a, li I have a list of uh, the main ones that are out today. Now, there was supposed to be the Star Trek original series on Steelbooks, the collection, but apparently that's been knocked back a week. But anyway, let's put us into receiver position. That's right. Uh, one day I'm going to do that and there's going to be someone sitting there and I'm not going to be able to put up posters, put up pictures of the actual movies <laughs> over their faces. Anyway, so what have we got today? Well, the big one, ooh, uh, Mrs. Uh, the big one that's out today is Fast and Furious 9 or F9 or the saga continues or whatever they want to call it these days. Yes, Vin Diesel and the rest of the cast. So Fast and Furious 9, we have that on a lovely bright yellow Blu-ray. We also, also, also have it on a bright yellow 4K Blu-ray. Uh, there is a Steelbook exclusive, um, which apparently Amazon only have. Um... It looks nice. I don't know if it's going to match up with the rest of my steelbooks because I've got one to eight in steelbook form. But I think the first seven of them or the first eight of them actually had the number at the top to say which season it was. What season? What number film it was. But apparently this one hasn't, so it's going to look a bit odd as long as it's got bloody title on the spine. Uh, there is also a nine disc Blu-ray set. And also a 9-disc 4K set. I don't need to buy that uh, because I already have the 8-disc 4K set. Uh, some all blue um, 4Ks coming out today, including M. Night Shyamalan's Unbreakable. First time on 4K in the UK. I hope it comes with a slipcover. Going to have to pick that one up, definitely. We also have The Hunt for Red October. Yes, looks like we're starting our Jack Ryan series. So hopefully they'll be releasing Patriot Games and A Clear and Present Danger. And uh, what was the other one? The Sum of All Fears. I hope they're releasing them all on 4K. Don't know if they come with the slipcovers, though. Uh, Collateral is out today on 4K with Tom Cruise and Jamie Foxx. Uh, I think this was supposed to come out last week, but that got bumped. And uh, we have seasons one and two of Manhunt with Martin Clunes. So there's season one. 
and season two as well. I've never seen an episode of it, so I'm not sure what it's like. But we do also have uh, season one of The Walking Dead World Beyond. Apparently this gets better, but from what I watched, it was shit. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it was the crap end of The Walking Dead. I don't think they had a clue what they were doing with it. So I probably I stopped watching actually after about four episodes. I couldn't be asked with it. It was so boring. <sighs> anyway, what else have we got? We have got Friday the 13th, the eight movie still book collection. Plus we have a film called Sun. Uh, which is a Shudder film, another horror one. Uh, I watched the trailer. It looks a bit exorcisty with a kid sort of like strapped to a bed, <laughs> doing all that kind of shit. Uh, we have the monster. <laughs> I'll do that again. <laughs> we have the monster with Joan Collins. Not that she's a monster. I saw this one the other day. I watched this one. So I'll give you a little uh, rundown of it, a little insight into what I thought of it when we get home. Uh, we also have The Dark Eyes of London with Bella Lugosi. Lugosi. This is 1939. Jesus. This film came out just as the world was going to war. You can't think about that, can you? Uh, we do have some wrestling out today. WWE Summer Slam 21. And the last film that we've got out was named after me. Yes, it's the most beautiful boy in the world. <laughs> oh dear me, yes. That, I don't know what on earth that is, but that's a weird title. It's a, I don't know, I don't know. But anyway, let's put you back into Pooley, Pooley vision. So let's stop waffling. Let's get into our first, well, first stop of the day. It, it, it's all self-contained in one building. So we're only going to one building but we go into different little outlets. Let's get into blue water. <gasps> What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in the box? It's not a head, is it? Oh, it's just a load of old bottles. I'm so glad there was no head in that box. <laughs> anyway, let's get into blue water. <laughs> It's great to see you too. Okay, so as we've got to go past it to get to the escalator for HMV, let's go and have a look at the Disney store. Oh my God, look. Not even a sign at the top. Just shutters. Totally, completely gone. I'm so sad. Right, let's go to HMV. Okay, so into the glorious HMV we will go. Let's go and have a look at today's releases. Okay, so the first thing I am seeing is the Fast and Furious 9 movie collection. This is the DVD. Couldn't find the Blu-ray version or the 4K. But anyway, here is the Blu-ray for Fast and Furious 9 with a really nice slip cover. Little bit of black up the top there. Very good. And next to it, we have the 4K. Very nice. Same sleeve, but I love all the use of yellow and shit on there. <laughs> what else have we got? On the new TV section, down here, we have Walking Dead, Shit Beyond. That's right. God awful series. £24.99. They can't even be bothered to give a slip. Uh, down here, we have some uh, Alec Guinness in... Tinker Tailor Soldier Spy and Smiley's People for £28 a double box set. That's pretty good. On the 4K section, we have our Unbreakable. Yes, the brilliant M. Night Shyamalan movie. £19.99, first time in the UK on 4K physical. Gonna have to pick this up, definitely. And on the television section here, uh, we have Manhunt, if I can dig it out. Pardon. There she goes. That's the first series with Martin Clunes. Again, have no idea what this is, a series is about. And there is series two as well, The Night Stalker. Oh, dear me. And that's £20 for series two. 
Here is some wrestling. I couldn't find the Blu-ray, but there's the SummerSlam 2021 of the DVD for £15. I'm sure William will appreciate that. And uh, here we have Scott Pilgrim vs. The World. Uh, this is the uh, the limited edition, whatever you want to call it. Titans of Cult, that's it. And down here we also have Halloween 2018 for £9.99 with any purchase. No slipcover though. And here's another one, Beetlejuice for £9.99. Yeah, they've got a couple more titles in the £9.99. That's pretty good. And here's the DVD premieres. We have Death Ranch. Okay, looks kind of good. £6.99, probably not. Yes. Anyway, uh, we have a film called The Lodger. Nobody wants a lodger, especially if they're going to leave food all around the bleeding floor and not make their bed. But here is The War Below, another war film. £6.99. And uh, below, something that my mum always wanted to do with my mouth. That's why wire it shut. <laughs> that looks a bit creepy as well. Uh, I, thought, I saw this figure of Jar Jar Binks for nearly 40 quid. Look at this. This is a massive Jar Jar celebrating 50 years or something at Lucasfilm. It's a massive Jar Jar. And here's a little selection of the 9.99s before I walked out of the shop. I did pay for stuff, honestly. And outside of the shop, look, we've got all these Greedos and they're not breakfast cereals, really. Okay, so let's go and have a quick look in the entertainer as we don't have the Disney store here anymore. Let's go and have a look, see if they've got anything new in. Okay, so on the pop vinyl figures, the first thing I saw was a Loki figure. Yes, they do have a couple of Loki figures. It's got the clock there as well. Um, we have some James Bond. We have Safin. It's like I'm looking at my reflection. Yes, I like to make the world a bit tidier. That's right. Stop leaving a mess. And we have Ahsoka as well. 464. Bloody hell, there's so many pops. Uh, we have some bendable Avengers. That's right, you can pull Captain uh, America's arms off. Okay, so unfortunately there wasn't much in there. Just a few pops, but uh, let's go and have a look around and see what else we can find. Okay, so there's Mankind. We've been in there loads of times before, but uh, they usually have the same old stuff. We do have this really big Stormtrooper helmet here, and the three wise Stormtroopers as well. Little baby Yoda. Oh, Jesus Christ, the size of his glove. £129. Christ. Yeah, for size comparison. <laughs> starve a chicken what do you get exactly okay so rather than having a stall like a lot of the uh, males do we actually have a rather large shop for the calendar club so let's go in see if we can find anything different in here okay there's not a big selection uh, we do have some lovely thomas kincaid disney though i love these artwork on these is fantastic there used to be a gallery here uh, we also have some Elvis as well for 2022. Thank you very much. <laughs> Had to do that. And some more Elvis there as well on Cliff Richard. We have a really nice The Boys calendar. Lots of uh, screenshots from uh, the episodes. That's really good. We have Riverdale there as well. And some Peaky Blinders. I'm sure Lulu would appreciate that one for Christmas. And we have Disney Pixar Luca. Yeah, who would, would imagine a, a Pixar calendar? And uh, what else have we got? Uh, we have the Suicide Squad as well. Yes, very nice. Well, unfortunately, they don't have a lot of celebrity calendars in there. They used to have stacks of them. And uh, they, unfortunately, Mr. Magpie, they didn't have a Kelly book. So we'll have to look elsewhere, I'm afraid. Okay, I don't know if you can see from here, I zoom in I believe that is the Amazon store you can recognize it from the little arrow so let's go and have a look yeah there it is it's called the Amazon four star why not five stars okay let's go in and have a look I can see it says toys and games or something in there let's go and have a look see what they got Okay, they've got all sorts of stuff in here. We've got some Monopoly games. 
We've got other board games on the wall here. We've got uh, an Amazon exclusive Qui-Gon Jinn Tatooine figure, plus an Empire Strikes Back Han in Carbonate. That's a, quite a large figure. So that's really nice. Uh, they've got some Flash figures there as well. And some books and uh, some electronics. Okay, so there wasn't anything special about it. It's just like an overgrown mankind shop. There's quite a lot of people heaving with people, but I think that's out of curiosity. But it's just like a gadget shop, a large gadget shop, with just offers that are available at Amazon. So it's nothing really special. No Blu-rays or DVDs. I was going to go and ask them where the hell my Fast and Furious 4K still book was. <laughs> but uh, no, nah, it's nothing special. In the Sky Shop here, they actually have the Sky Glass up on the wall. Bit of a demonstration. Interesting. Okay, so it's more or less lunchtime, so let's go and get something to eat. Hopefully, Spud You Like is open to get my lovely baked potato. Oh, absolute bollocks. Bloody Spud You Like has pissed off. Oh, shit. Well, it's either going to be KFC or McDonald's. Uh, I think I'll do KFC. How fitting that it be in Fast and Furious days to have this parked here on my McLaren. Okay, so back to the car. Yes, I've got the engine running. I've got the air conditioning running. It's turned out really warm. It's turned out really warm. Uh, I did pick up a couple of bits and pieces in HMV, which I shall show you when I get home. Plus also I've got a couple of other bits that have come in from the uh, PR company that I just need to highlight. Spud you like, where's my Spud you like gone? It seems that Spud you like is one of these like pop-up places that just come whenever they want. So unfortunately I couldn't get my Jackie Potato. What's going on? No Disney store, no Jackie Potato. It's turning into a disaster. In the end, I went to KFC for the Colonel's recipe. I got some fries and what else did I get? Get a chicken, a tower burger, tower burger meal. Very nice. Yes. So I'm going to eat that now. Also got a Coke. Or Pepsi. Not a sponsor. But yes, that is it for today. Starting to get a little bit busy in there now. Let's go home and uh, I'll show you what I picked up today and uh, what I've had delivered in the last couple of days. And I think there may be a still book that's arrived as well. So let's check that out, but I'll see you back at home. Meanwhile. Okay, so just got home from Blue Water. Came home to find a lovely issue of Home Cinema Choice. Mr. Spock up the top there, so I should imagine they're reviewing the new Star Trek movies. A little bit of Scarlet down the bottom there. Uh, this is the Autumn 2021 issue, so I shall be having a good read through of that. See what lovely goodies are in there. That'll give me something to, uh, to read uh, in a couple of days' time. Okay, so it's time for the shit that I bought. It's time, time for the shit that we bought. It's time for the shit that we bought. Same old shit. It's time for the shit that we bought. Oh. Do you think Big Paulie will get Fast and Furious 9 on 4K? I could put money on him getting Fast and Furious 9. <laughs> oh, have you know, James, that... I don't buy everything that's released on a weekly basis. There are some things that I don't buy, even though I have the 4K box set of Fast and Furious and eight Fast and Furious steel books. Doesn't mean to say that I'm going to pick up Fast and Furious 9. Bollocks. Yes. I got home and this was on the doorstep. I will show you all of the steelbooks near the end of the video so you can see 
how they all uh, connect to each other. But this has come from Amazon. In a cardboard envelope. Oh, I'm dreading undoing this. I used to get steel books in, in boxes from Amazon. What's going on? Oh dear, right. We better open this now because we need to know if this is going to be buggered at the bottom. Right. I don't know if anybody saw um, movies with James unboxing the other day. It looked like his copy had been shot with a bloody shotgun. So let's have a look. What I can see is lovely and glossy. It's spot glossy. But then again, it's no good having a glossy steelbook if it's dented to shit. <laughs> oh, dear me. Why do we put this through ourselves? Right, okay, let's remove that. Right, okay. So far, so good. Yeah, looks good so far. So let's remove the icky bit. Oh, fuck. And let's remove the bottom bit. Uh, wow, it's... Okay. I think I can get away with that. Yeah, I can get away with that. Okay, so there is the steel book, Fast and Furious 9. We've got some lovely spot gloss there on the car with the bright orange headlights. Fast and Furious 9. The only ding seems to be that up the top there. Uh, I don't know how much it goes over. It's right on the edge. I mean, I'm going to contact Amazon, see if I can get a bit of money back for it. Because, uh, you know, it should come in pristine condition. But that is the front. That is the spine with some nice spot gloss. And then we have spot gloss on the FF on the back there. It should really just say F9. Anyway, let's open it up. Two discs. Of course, we have the Blu-ray and the 4K. So there is the steelbook. Okay, and on the inside, we just have the car on one side, uh, which is actually pretty good then, because it's not being, uh, an image is not being covered up by the discs. So let's have a look, see. I think it's the same image on both discs. So there is the Blu-ray, which is pretty much the same image that you get on the standard Blu-ray and the standard 4K. And then there's the 4K disc. And it is a bit of an unusual colour choice uh, for the steelbook because you've got green and black and kind of like white and silver. And then you've got bright orange or bright yellow. But I kind of guess it shows up a bit. But uh, I do agree from what James said. It should really be black, maybe black and a bit of green with the logo on it. But yeah, so that is the steelbook. Uh, there's no dings on the front, there's no dings on the back, the spine is perfect, it doesn't have a, a spine slash, it just has a very minor ding up the top there, right there, but I'll see what Amazon say, hey if I can get a couple of quid back for it, for damaged, we'll give it a go. So that is Fast and Furious 9. As I say, I will show you before the video ends all of my Fast and Furious still books all lined up so we can get a good look at what they look like. Uh, the other one I picked up today at Blue Water is M. Rajamalan's Unbreakable in 4K. This includes the 4K and the Blu-ray, first time on 4K. I really hope they start releasing all the other films like The Sixth Sense and Signs. Um, Lady in the Water. The Village hasn't even got an official Blu-ray release, so it'd be nice if we could get a 4K for that. That was £19.99. Um, special features comes uh, on the Blu-ray disc. Deleted scenes with M. Night Shyamalan. Behind the scenes featuring Bruce Willis. A comic books and superheroes exclusive feature with Samuel L. Jackson. The train station sequence, multi-angle feature, and the knight's first fight uh, sequence. 
uh, and it comes with a DTS HD Master Audio 5.1. So unfortunately no Atmos or DTS X. But that is the slip. That is the Blu-ray itself, or, or the 4K rather. Let's have a look, see what the discs look like. Get off, horrible plastic. Right, okay, so there we go. And uh, yeah, not bad, a bit of artwork on them. So, uh, it, and it does kind of like match with it, you know, cause it's black. So there's the 4K and there is the Blu-ray. So that's pretty good. So I'm happy that I've got that. So uh, I, I actually do need to get a split and glass on 4K. I haven't got those on 4K. Old will be out soon. So I've definitely got an order in for the 4K on that, not the steelbook. Um, going back to the Fast and Furious, I forgot to mention what you get in this. So you get the 4K disc and the Blu-ray. Uh, you get two versions of the film. You get the director's cut and the original cut, uh, plus a gag reel, uh, F9 all-in, practically fast, shifting priorities, Justice for Han, a day on set with Justin Lin, John Cena, supercar, superfan, feature commentary with producer, co-writer, director Justin Lin, uh, and the uh, the audio on this is Dolby Atmos, so that'd be good. I should imagine the Dolby Atmos soundtrack will be good on Fast and Furious. Now they do they did have a couple more of the nine pound ninety nines, uh, or you know nineteen ninety nine or nine ninety nine with any purchase. But uh, because I was already picking up Unbreakable, I decided to pick up Halloween the two thousand and eighteen. Now unfortunately, none of them had slip covers. They probably did originally have slip covers, uh, but as you saw, there was a few more there. I think Doctor Sleep is now for uh, £9.99 as well. So uh, they had a few other ones, but this is the one I really wanted uh, because I saw the, the Blu-ray for it the other day. I watched the movie. And I really enjoyed the movie. So I thought I'll pick up the 4K. This actually does have a, a DTS X audio track. I can't remember what the audio was on the Blu-ray. It may have just been a 5.1. I've actually put it in the other room, so I can't actually grab it at the moment. But anyway, that was Halloween 2018. Uh, and a couple of days ago, I got a few movies from uh, Witchfinder PR. Basically, they send me a couple of movies every now and again to promote and to to review. Uh, I've watched this one. This one, And this one came out today. So this is available today from Network. Uh, I think it's fourteen ninety nine. This is the monster with Joan Collins, uh, Donald Pleasance is in it, and also Ralph Bates. Uh, Ralph Bates. Uh, there's not actually a, not a picture of Ralph Bates on the back. You've got Donald Pleasance there, and Joan Collins, but there's no Ralph Bates. He he plays it with an, an, an Italian accent. Uh, he was in the British sitcom Dear John back in the seventies, eighties, whenever it was. This is about Joan Collins's character uh, that has a baby and she's absolutely adamant that this baby has got it in for her. It's kind of like possessed. Uh, the baby is, is actually cursed by a dwarf. <laughs> yes, this dwarf here who kind of works in a cabaret club uh, has actually possessed, his spirit has actually possessed this baby and it lashes out at people. Um, it was an okay film. It's kind of a poor version of Rosemary's Baby meets The Exorcist. It was all right. The transfer was was okay. The audio is just basic stereo, so there's nothing fancy about the audio. Uh, it does come uh, with one disc, plus also a little booklet as well. Lots of bits and pieces in there and pictures. Uh, and unfortunately, I found the audio, the dialogue audio, was actually out of sync for, for at least an hour in the film. Now, I did try it on two other players and every player I played it on, the audio was out of sync. So I'm thinking it may have been um, a manufacturing error, possibly. But uh, I, I certainly couldn't get the first hour to play in sync after fiddling about with a player 
uh, and after a certain amount of time, like an hour and five minutes, uh, it kind of like all joined up. It kind of like went back into sync. So I don't know if anybody else is going to have problems with that, but uh, that's the monster. Uh, another one that the PR company sent me is a film called The Dark Eyes of London. I actually haven't got haven't had chance to watch this one yet, but this is Bella Lugosi, 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 Bella Lugosi. Look at that spot gloss. It's got a nice slip cover. Got some nice spot gloss on the slip cover, uh, and I believe this is from 1939. Uh, this is The Dark Eyes of London: A Twisted Evil Stalks the Streets. Obviously, it's going to be black and white. I can't believe that this film was coming out at the time the world was going to war in 1939. Seems really ridiculous. But uh, it's got lots of special features on the back there. A brand new audio commentary with Kim Newman and Stephen Jones. Bella Lugosi, Lugosi in Britain. Um, Kim Newman and Stephen Jones discuss Lugosi's work in the UK at the Edgar Wallace pub in London. A US titles, a US trailer, image gallery, limited edition booklet written by Adrian Smith. Yeah, and this is from Network as well. So this one comes with the artwork on the disc and a few posters inside there as well. And a nice little booklet there. Bits about the film and the, maybe the writers and things like that. Uh, and it also comes with some art cards as well. So uh, let's have a look and see what art cards you get. So they are actually all double sided. So let's just go through them. So you get that one. And then Bella Lugosi on the back. And then you get that one. So it looks like these are all different types of foreign posters, maybe. And then you get Wilfred Walter on the back. These are nice. These art cards are nice. These double, double sided ones. And uh, Greta Gint. And the last one, and this one has Hugh Williams on the back. So yeah, some nice art cards there. So uh, you, they make up some nice little posters and then uh, lots of lovely little character cards of all the uh, the actors and that. So could frame it. Yeah, so that is uh, The Dark Eyes of London, available on Network today. Uh, you can be able to find it everywhere it was uh in hmv it's in amazon uh zavi uh, and also the monster which is on network as well so both of them are released today so thanks to um witch finder for sending those over to me i will be checking this one out um it'll probably be my oldest watched film but uh i need to check that one out and see what that's like okay so that is it that is today's blu-ray hunt done so We've got those two which were sent to me by Witchfinder PR. Uh, we have ha um, Halloween 2018 which I picked up for £9.99. We have Fast and Furious 9 Steelbook uh, with a very minor ding at the top which really doesn't distract from the Steelbook, thankfully. Plus we also have Unbreakable on 4K and a copy of home cinema choice uh, i'm now going to dig out the other still books for fast and viewers and i'll just show you those before we go okay so as you can see they are all lined up we have one two three four five six and seven unfortunately that's where the number stopped we so we're missing out on number eight and number nine but they do kind of like line up in the middle so the last ones are okay it's just a shame that uh, we're missing eight and nine, but these things happen when maybe other companies take over or uh, the designs change. But let's put them up on the shelf and have a look, see what they look like. OK, so I'll try not to get too much reflection on them. But as you can see, here's Fast and Furious, Too Fast, Too Furious, The Fast 
and the Furious Tokyo Drift. And then we have Fast and Furious. And then we have Fast and Furious 5, 6, 7. And then we have Fast and Furious 8 and Fast and Furious 9. Then you get a nice continuous blend of the uh, the backs of the steel books going through the five, six and seven and then it all changes unfortunately. So yes that is the backs of them. So there we go that is my Fast and Furious steel book collection. Uh, it's a shame about the last two films not having the same design as the first seven but uh, unfortunately that's what happens and you just have to live with it. Oh, that's a good job I haven't got OCD. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Like it by giving it some thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, comment and share. Stick down in the comments, what did you have delivered today? What did you pick up? Uh, two of the four Ks that I was interested in, Collateral and The Hunt for Red October, unfortunately never came into HMV at Blue Water. So whether or not they've been delayed or they just didn't get a shipment in. Hopefully we'll see that next week. But uh, until the next video, bye!